In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the four main ways that I personally use to monetize my niche affiliate marketing websites. When you are making an affiliate marketing website, one of the most important things and the primary goal of that website is to actually make money. So with that said, today's video is going to be one of those very important videos and I highly recommend watching this one all the way through so you learn all of this information and you can apply it to your own affiliate marketing websites. Now to take this video a few steps further, a few weeks ago I made a video showing you guys how to find great niches for affiliate marketing websites and I went in real time and found three profitable niches that were good enough that I would personally go into. Now, after I explain the main ways on how I monetize my sites, I'm going to break down each one of these three niches from that previous video, how I would personally monetize those sites. So before we dive right into this video, two quick notes. First thing, to all of you guys who are new to this channel, welcome, my name is Greg, and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and sharing the resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel and consider subscribing. And secondly, before we get into this video, to all of you guys who have been showing support on these videos, thank you guys. You guys know how much it means to me, but I will continue to say it because I really do appreciate it. So without wasting any time here, I'm going to break down the four main ways that I use to monetize my sites, and then I'll show you how to apply that to the three niches we found previously. So the very first way and the primary way that I use to monetize my niche affiliate marketing websites should come by no surprise, and what that is is affiliate product links. Now there's two main ways to do these affiliate product links. The first way is for everyone, especially if you are a beginner, and that is called Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is the world's largest affiliate program, and what it allows you to do is get your own affiliate link from any product on Amazon. What that means for you and me is that right off the bat, you can start creating affiliate links for any product that is sold on Amazon, which is basically anything that you could have on your niche affiliate marketing site. Now there are a lot of other benefits to Amazon Associates, but just know right off the bat, you'll be able to link to basically any product product. Now the second way to link to affiliate products is to partner with specific companies. Now as you build up your foundation on your website and you have your links for products on Amazon, then you can start applying to specific affiliate programs with bigger companies or higher ticket items and you can get specific affiliate links with them. Now as we go through this video, I'll give you specific examples on where I would recommend doing this, but that is the first way that you can monetize your affiliate marketing websites and that is with affiliate product links. Now the second way that I recommend making money with your affiliate marketing websites is with with ads. Now this is by far the most passive way to make money from your affiliate marketing websites. It's basically setting up your site to show an advertisement in the sidebar, throughout articles, throughout your website from other companies paying to put an advertisement there. Now the most popular way to put ads on your website is with Google AdSense. Now the big benefit to Google AdSense is that you don't have to have a certain amount of traffic for them to accept you. You can essentially do this on a brand new website as long as it's fully up and functioning. Now there are some downsides to Google AdSense, mainly you're going to get paid very little when compared to some of these other ad platforms that I'll explain here in a second. And second is that Google AdSense is a little bit clunky on your website and it typically slows your website down. So with that being said, what I've started to do over the years and what I would recommend to you if you're getting into affiliate marketing is completely skip Google AdSense altogether. It's not going to be worth it when you're making money because you could be making more somewhere else and it's going to slow your website down on top of that. So with that being said, I have three other options for you for putting ads on your affiliate marketing website. The first of these is called Ezoic. Ezoic is going to be definitely one step up from Google AdSense, but there are still other ones above it. Now, when compared to Google AdSense, Ezoic is going to make you more money for every view and every click you get on an advertisement that is on your website. However, not just everyone can sign up for Ezoic. The only requirement they come with is that your website needs to have at least 10,000 monthly page views. So what that means is when you're starting out a new affiliate marketing website, don't even worry about adding ads to your website until you have at least 10,000 monthly page views. Once you reach that amount, then I recommend putting ads on your website with Ezoic. The next ad provider that I recommend to you as your website starts to grow is called Media Vine. It's essentially the same thing as Ezoic, except you're going to get paid even more money per view and per click on an ad. And again, they do have a requirement of how many monthly page views you need. And in order to get accepted to Media Vine, you need 50,000 page views on your website. So essentially, once your website reaches 50,000 page views, switch from Ezoic over to Media Vine. But it doesn't stop there, you can go one tier higher. The highest tier and the best ad provider that I can recommend to you is called Ad Thrive. Ad Thrive is going to make you the most money, it's going to be the most seamless, and it's not going to slow your website down. They kind of manage everything for you. You will make the most money per view and per click, 
but the biggest thing is you need to have at least 100,000 paid views to your website every month. So that should wrap up the different ad providers for your website and basically it depends on what your monthly traffic is at on your site to which ones of these you can apply and have running on your website. So moving right along, the third best way on how to monetize your affiliate marketing website is with information products. This is going to be a quick one to explain, but the two main ways you can do this is by creating your own ebook and selling that directly on your website or creating a video based course and selling that on your website as well. Now, obviously this is going to depend on what niche you are in, if this is going to be something practical, but creating your own ebook is not as hard as writing a novel and getting it published. This is something that you can create on your own computer in PDF format, and you can offer it as a digital download. So when someone buys it on your website, it instantly downloads to their computer and you don't have to fulfill any of the orders. The same goes for video courses. These are going to be a little bit more difficult because actually creating a course is not easy. And again, it's going to depend on what niche you are in if this fits, but this will be in digital format as well. So when someone purchases the course, you don't have to fulfill the order. Everything will be done passively for you. And the fourth way that I personally recommend for monetizing your affiliate marketing websites is by linking up a print on demand store. If you've seen a lot of the other videos on this channel, I talk about print on demand all the time because it is an excellent business model, but you can take it one step further. When you create a niche affiliate marketing website, you can create a button or a page on the site that links you over to a Teespring storefront. In this storefront, you can offer all different types of items with designs related to that niche and all of this is completely free to do. Now, another really awesome thing about using a print on demand store on your website is it's going to be completely passive. When someone comes from your niche affiliate marketing website, clicks onto your storefront and buys one of the print on demand items, Teespring is going to completely fulfill that order for you and just send the profit to your account. So as you can see with these four ways to monetize your website, they are all very passive. Now there are other ways to monetize affiliate marketing websites, but they start to get more hands-on. When you're creating a business like this from experience, you wanna make things as passive as possible because it's going to make your life as the website owner a lot easier. So that is the first section of this video. We just covered the four main ways to monetize your website. Now I'm going to go into the three niches that we found in the previous video, and I'm going to give you real life examples on how to apply these four monetization ways to these specific niches. So a quick note before we dive into these three different websites, if you didn't see the video that I made recently on how I found these three niches and why I know that they are profitable to make an affiliate marketing website about, I'll link that down in the description. I'll also put it up top and that will show you exactly step-by-step step how to find profitable niches for you to create affiliate marketing websites about. So starting out with the very first niche here, it is micro greens. So on an affiliate marketing website all about microgreens, I can see three ways to monetize it. I would be using affiliate links, information products, and ads. Starting with affiliate links, I would focus solely on Amazon Associates. When you come over to Amazon Associates and you search for microgreens, you can see that there are a bunch of different products that are relevant to this niche. Some of the main products that I would be writing content about and making links for in this niche are seeds because people are going to need seeds to grow these microgreens, books because I'm sure people need information on how to do this properly, growing kits, this is a perfect product and probably the most important product for this website. Anyone who is interested in getting into microgreens is going to need the whole setup on how to grow them. By linking to a kit, it makes it easy for someone because it has all of the things they need to just get started growing. And then lastly, some more accessories. Now on this niche, I would stay right on Amazon Associates because it's going to give you the biggest selection of all of these items. Moving on from affiliate links, the next way that I would monetize this site are with an information product. As you saw, we were just talking about books. And if you are confident enough and you have the drive to create your own ebook about this topic, then you can do all of the research and gather all of the information that you need to put together a short ebook about microgreens. Now in this specific niche, I would think the best topic to go with is a beginner's guide, how to get started growing your own microgreens at home. This could be something like a 20 page ebook and just go step by step. Now, another benefit to creating a digitally downloadable ebook is that you can put all of the different accessories or the different grow kits that you're recommending in the ebook with your affiliate links. Now this goes without saying, but creating an ebook is not the easiest thing to do. It does take a lot of work. However, if you do do it, it can be very rewarding for you in the long run. And moving on to the third and last way on how I would personally monetize a microgreens website would just be with ads. Now, again, I would wait until the website has at least 10,000 paid views per month. Then I would apply to Ezoic and as the website starts to grow, I would apply to the bigger ad platforms. So that's it for the first niche that takes care of microgreens. I think you can have a very passive and very profitable website if you monetize it that way. Moving on to the second niche that we found in that previous video, this is the niche of wine. Now there's two main ways that I would personally monetize a wine niche affiliate marketing website. First is with affiliate links and second is with ads. 
keeping it simple, keeping it passive, and I'll explain to you how to do that here. Starting with affiliate links, I would not only do Amazon Associates, but I would also do specific companies. Starting with Amazon Associates though, as you type in wine, I'm specifically looking for wine accessories. These are going to be great products to recommend from Amazon because a lot of these you can't find by going into a local store. Amazon ultimately is going to be the most convenient place for your viewers and readers to buy these items. However, as we start to look through these products, the ones that I would be recommending are some of these high ticket items. Something like this wine bottle opener is going to be a great product to write content about. Not only is this product $400 to purchase, but when we come over to the Amazon Associates commission chart, we look at what category this is in, which is kitchen, you're getting a 4.5% commission. This means that every time someone purchases this product from Amazon using your affiliate link, you're going to get roughly $18. So with that said, I would recommend the higher ticket items for wine accessories, but I wouldn't stop there. Something that's really cool in the wine industry is that they have wine subscription services. Basically, when you sign up to this, you tell them what types of wine you typically like, and they send you new bottles and different bottles of wine every month. So with that being said, one of the big wine subscription services is called California Wine Club. And if you go to their website, scroll down to the bottom, you will see that they have an affiliate program. And basically when you write content about joining a wine subscription service, or comparing multiple of them, you can put in your affiliate link to this specific one and they give out a 15% commission. Now there are definitely other wine subscription services out there and you can look at all the different ones to look at their affiliate program and you can even compare them against each other in content, putting your affiliate link to both. So that covers up the affiliate product linking for the wine niche website. Moving on to the second part, that's basically just the ads on the side. So as this site starts to grow, again, waiting to 10,000 monthly page views, then I would start getting on these ad platforms for this website. So those are the two ways that I would monetize a wine niche affiliate marketing website, keeping it simple, keeping it passive. Now moving on to the third and last niche is converted vans. This is the one that I'm actually very excited about because there are a lot of great ways to monetize this one. This site can use all four of the monetization ways that I like to use. You're going to get affiliate links, you're going to get ads, information products, and you get the print on demand store. Starting with the affiliate links, Amazon Associates is going to be your best friend on this one. However, if you go directly to Amazon and you search for converted van, you will see a couple eBooks on how to convert a van, but that's about it. As you start thinking about this niche, for people who are converting their own van, they need to buy parts. So if you're not familiar with this niche, you need to go and find out which parts they're going to be buying and write content about those parts. So as we start to dig into what these specific parts are and what the most popular ones are, then we can find these products on Amazon and create affiliate links to them directly. So for example, this is the most popular fan that goes into converted vans. This is $236. Further, when people are converting vans, they typically put a 12 volt refrigerator in there. And as you start to scroll through Amazon, you can see that there are a ton of different options. Coming back to the commission table very quickly on this, these parts are typically going to fall into the automotive niche. And when we look at automotive, it's right next to kitchen. So it's going to be again, four and a half percent. Now, another product that I would look into writing content about is the batteries that go into these vans. Typically these converted vans have solar panels on the roof and that energy gets stored in these big lithium ion batteries. Well, these lithium ion batteries are about $1,000 each. It's not uncommon to see two to four of these batteries in a converted van. So when you start to look at that four and a half percent commission on $1,000, that's $45 commission per battery order. Now affiliate links are going to be the primary way to make money on a converted van website, but I wouldn't stop at Amazon Associates. Once you start to get your foundation built on your site, then you can start applying to specific affiliate programs with companies directly. To give you a specific example here, this is a company called Renogy and they make solar panels, they make batteries, solar controllers, all the things that go into the electrical part of these converted vans. As you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that they have an affiliate section. And when you look at their affiliate program, they have a 6% commission. When you compare that to Amazon, which is a 4.5% commission, on some of these bigger ticket items, you can link to the product directly through the company's link and make a couple percent more in your commission. So that covers the affiliate linking section for this specific niche website. The second way that I would monetize it is with information products. Now specifically, I would recommend creating an ebook about how to convert one of these vans. If you haven't done this before, I could imagine this would be a lot of research for you to do. So again, it wouldn't be easy to create this ebook, but you could go step by step on how to convert a van. And then throughout the ebook, you can link to the specific products that you're referring to with your affiliate links. So moving on to the next way that I would monetize this niche is with a Teespring storefront selling print on demand products. And with these products, I would focus on the camping niche. 
If you've ever been to campgrounds or out camping in general, you'll see that a lot of people wear camping shirts. This is just something that I imagine people buy them as gifts because they know that they like camping and it's a great time to wear them because you're not worried if you're going to get that shirt dirty, it's essentially your camping shirt. So this is a great opportunity for you to create designs in the camping niche, put them into a storefront and link to that from your converted van themed website. And then obviously moving right into the last one, this is ads as your website starts to grow. Again, waiting till you hit at least 10,000 monthly page views, then start adding advertisements to this site. Now, as you guys could see, this converted van niche was the only one that used all four of the monetization strategies. However, all three of these sites could make the same amount of money. It just depends on how much traffic your site starts to get. Not all of your sites are going to use all four of these strategies, but these are the four best that I can recommend from experience. So as you go on building your niche affiliate marketing websites, use these four and pick the ones that match that niche the best. Now I know that was a lot of information for this video, but I'm going to link up a ton of helpful resources down in the description. As always, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that's it for this one. And I will see you all in the next video.